Diddy Greninja's was whatever. So anything uh, Sheik has to look out for for this matchup? Dying early. Dying early. Uh, with every matchup, it's always what moves do you have, what stuff do you have to kill me below 80. So what can uh, Greninja do to do that? All right, Greninja, with Rage, down tilt, up smash on all legal stages kills at 75 minimum. So if Sheik ever gets to the point where she has Greninja at kill percent, but it's like, oh man, I gotta, I gotta close it. Stocks, and it doesn't happen. If Greninja gets a down tilt or reads a landing, that's a stock. Oh, okay, okay. He was reading air dodge there. But they're gonna go to Smash for game one. Sheikville. Sheikville. Yeah, we already know what the deal is. Hey, we got that eighty percent on. Matt has nothing to answer back yet, other than the five percent. But just beginning the match. Yeah, but that, that's just Sheik. Like sometimes, when you when you play against Sheik, the hardest part about combating her is just, is just dealing with the times where you literally can't play yeah because some, because she, she's a good character so sometimes you're just not going to be able to have a say in the conversation yeah but you just have to know how to get out of the traps you have to be uh wary of what to look for i feel get like, back in the game i feel like how effective you can actually start your offense and continue your offense is how good you do against she yeah and actually how to use rage to your advantage because rage is always going to be a factor whenever you play she yeah rage is a sheet killer <laughs> just like now yeah, th this is what I'm talking about now, because now down to up smash kills. But now Matt just has to get back on the stage, get some good footing, nice uh, tackle read. Gonna jump out of that down throw. Not a real 50-50, but Protege is trying to catch him slipping, get that up, Aaron. Matt's trying to find something. I'm trying to get a grab right now. He's whiffing though. Alright, that's till jumping out of there, because it's not a true 50-50 uh, at this percent. Ooh. And that shall sneak, he got the back kick. That's the strongest variation of Shadow Sneak, so it actually would have killed Protege if it connected because Sheik is very unfortunate. Yeah. Lesham Bear goes for it. Matt knows about it. Buffers roll. Alright, so even though the percents are <laughs> almost double in Greninja. Protege's favor, Greninja can still do something. Greninja can still take the stock first. So he cannot afford to, you know, relax in any situation whatsoever. He's gotta keep advantage and not do that. <laughs> oh, I don't know what that was. Maybe maybe he wanted to uh, jump further so we could like the reverse needles? I don't know. Maybe I don't I don't know. That was just a weird input and I can't even judge what that was. Yeah. Alright, Nair. No. Oh my god. Ah yeah, he fell for the trap, but even at 179 on Smashville, that backer is not going to take the stock. Down throw? Now Matt's just trying to find a, a situation where he can sneak in a forward air or an up smash or something. Something, anything, honestly. Is it Another forward air, gonna get Protege off stage. Ooh, Alright, lands on that smash for platform because he knows if he tried to land on the stage, Protege was just right there. Could have thrown out any of his moves to take the stock. Back BBG. air still not killing. And we have a Greninja at almost 200% on Smashville. This is ridiculous. This is so unfair. This is not like it grab oh, oh my what? god they both set up the stage vanish vanish and the up arrow finally yeah, okay. do it finally matt would have killed if they didn't slide off the stage that up throw would have killed yeah but thankfully for protege <laughs> they slid off the stage barely <laughs> so, so they got that weird three percent that, thing and like, they got that vanish also yeah like i said a little tick actually got that going but forward air there you go forward air fresh good. forward air all that hard work you did to take the lead so 19 percent extra credit that's all you have to show for it. Yeah, thirty. All that now. work you did. That happens. A lead is a lead. Yeah, a lead is a lead, but is it really a lead? I feel like percent leads in this game are like minimal, just because yeah. of the nature of the game. Like the the oh. tide can just turn very quickly in this it's game. It's very very minimal, honestly. But if you look at the core aspect of the game, you know, what I mean, a percent yeah, a lead a lead is a lead in the rule book. Like yeah. if you're if you're lower percent, you're winning. But yeah. like, I feel like that's not secure, you know. Yeah, so it looks like we're going to have the same exact thing, almost like the same exact situation, I feel like, now. Yeah, that we're happened in the first stock is not going to happen in the second stock. Yeah, we're approaching that point. Now, uh, Protégé, L luckily for Protégé, he's used a that long stock that he had against Matt to like, learn how he plays yeah. even further. Oh, Bouncer Crush? So not now he's that. actually going to actually get some good kills here. Or yeah, maybe, maybe he can read a habit here, get a kill. Yeah. So forward air kills there, but like not the back airs from before. Yeah. That's chic. Yeah, I mean, I can't explain it. It's okay. I mean, I can try, but it's like... It's, it's not worth it. It doesn't even... <laughs> it's like, I think... Back air is like a sweet spot on her foot. 
where that does the more knockback. Yeah. But he got the leg. So yeah, like the like the under part of the leg. Yeah. yeah. And, I, and I think forward air has more not uh, knockback growth than back air does. No, that makes sense. That was so unfortunate. The whole so that whole first round. Okay, I played this exact matchup with Matt, uh, Greninja Sheik in bracket. And when I won game one, I struck FD. But he's prob But then afterwards, we were talking about it, and he said that he would have uh, went to Battlefield. Yeah, no, I, I struck Battlefield, so we went to FD. He wouldn't went to Battlefield if I let him, mm -hmm. because Greninja's mobility on Battlefield allows him to actually combat Sheik better. Yeah. That so makes if sense. Protege doesn't ban that, they're probably going to Battlefield. What about Dreamland? Would that be a different variation? It's the same stage. Same stage. It's, it's the tripod from layout that matters. Yeah, I got you. But it looks like they're striking that through now. We'll see how Mac and Mickey necessary Dutchman. Alright. Now, with FD, you're going to get pretty much the same thing that you had on Smash Roll, with slightly different blast zones, mm -hmm. and uh, no assistance with the platform ever. Yeah. So I feel like because Greninja's not going to have anywhere to land, or uh, like escape Sheik's pressure, He's going to have an easier time on offense, but a much harder time on defense. Yeah. Well, that's the, that's the, just a trade off you get when you get rid of that uh, that dynamic platform. Now, now Protege up 52% to 14. Unsafe landing from Matt right there, so he's going to get a nice conversion, extend that lead, and I love that rising up air. I love that up uh, up tilt he actually did. Whenever she do up tilts in the combos, it's just like you know it's a good combo. It's a it's a nice move to hit, just because it's so difficult to actually like implement. And also, it's just a nice looking move. Yeah. Alright, down tilt Protege jumping out of there just to make sure Matt doesn't extend on him, add on too much damage. Alright, that down forward air gonna get caught that's and gonna be down throw up air. Yeah, yeah that cool. looked like kinda sorta true just because it's Greninja and Sheik doesn't have a whole lot of rage. Yeah. That that had to have been a golden percent thing. It looks like it, but Protege looks like he's uh he's really comfortable in this matchup so far. Only fifty percent on him. Doing his offense. Yeah, not letting Matt, you know, breathe at this point. He got that first stock, he's not letting up at all. You see a lot of people when they get that stock lead, they uh, they switch up how they play. Yeah. They stay more pensive. They allow uh, they their opponent to make the mistake so they can punish, but he's doing the exact opposite. He's playing more aggressive now he has that lead. Ooh, That's oh, <laughs> good. So, let's trump. Are you going to rear grab ledge or are you going to land on the stage? Either, either one, I can cover both. So as soon as he sniffed out the that he was gonna land on the stage, he just hit him with the up smash. I called it 89. I know, crazy. Mac can still bring this back though, honestly. Yeah. Especially so with the rage thing, all he needs is like one good combo and then a good conversion after that combo to get some offense going, and then basically a read or down tilt. All right. Nair cuts off the uh, the jump from Matt. He's gonna combo that into a bouncing fish, but it's not gonna be the stock just yet because Sheik has it. no rage whatsoever. This is an unfortunate life because Sheik needs the rage to really like get the combos to kill as well as connect. But then the rage works against her like as soon as she's uh, at that high percent. Yeah. That. Yeah. That That's all up there. So is this three out of five? Three out of five. Yeah. Oh, okay. Do you think we're going to see the Battlefield pick probably here? Probably, yeah. Like... I don't know what else he would want to ban. Maybe... I don't know. I, I, I'm not going to think too much of it. All I know is that Battlefield is the stage that Matt wants. And all the other ones are like, I'll, I'll go there, but like, uh, Yeah. We could be somewhere else. Town and City? Town and City could work. Mostly, I feel like almost anything would work, honestly. Yeah. Especially in this matchup, I think about it. But I don't really get to watch or actually play good Greninja so often. You know yeah, because I mean? Greninja is, as a character in general is rare, and Matt's running to the bathroom. He's got to think. He's going to wash up. No, we can see him. What's he, what's he doing in there? Oh, he's just washing his hands. Yeah, that's good. Always washing hands, especially at tournaments. I don't want to get sick. You already are sick. Yes, I am, actually. <laughs> that's what I got this year. I'm not what is it supposed to be? A, a panda? It's a bear. Oh, it's just black. Okay, yeah. Yeah. Match the outfit. It's the only reason why I actually wear this. Well, looks like Matt's ready. I think he cleared his head. 
Took that little bit of time just to recompose himself. It's always good to take that time. People don't usually take that, especially like, especially when it comes to like strenuous activities, like you know, playing a tournament like this. Always take the time to actually breathe, mentally breathe. Yeah, because you're down 2-0, but you still have another game. You can definitely make the reverse happen. I've seen it happen before. Oh, we always see Mario. Okay, there we go. Much better. Now, yeah, this is this is going to be good. This is dangerous. This is very dangerous. Especially with Sheik giving Mario rage on this stage specifically. Historic stage versus this matchup, honestly. Yeah, same coloration too. Crazy. <laughs> About, um... Not not even that far from the day, like three years ago. Really? Yeah, yeah actually. Yeah. No, uh, two years ago. Two years ago. <laughs> Anti versus zero. Same I'm, same same character, same colors. Same I stage. love that. I love that tournament. It's one of my favorite tournaments in this game. All right, but this is a better pick for Matt just because Mario has a much better time dealing with uh, Sheik than Greninja does. Yeah. Uh, because uh, a lot of people say that Mario beat Sheik now. A lot of the Sheik mains are uh, still stuck on that Sheik. You know, beats Mario still, but I, I honestly believe it's even. There's no reason for me to believe that either side has the advantage. Yeah. Because Mario has the damage, and he has the killing blows, but she just has the evasion. And Mario has a, a poor mobility, like like his mobility is just not there. I personally like playing Mario actually in this matchup. I feel really comfortable. Like I feel like Mario is always like that pick. It's like if I really want to feel comfortable in the matchup, like I always have like a chance to actually say something. I feel like I always choose it. So especially in this matchup, like what you said before, is like. When can I actually, you know, have a say in the conversation, how well I can do that? I feel like this character actually exemplifies that. Yeah. Especially if you get that down tilt, or um, not down tilt, uh, down throw. Ooh. Ooh, right there. And a lot, of, and he has a lot of ways to just like... End the conversation with that forward air. Yeah, like he has a lot of ways to make sure that Sheik has to stay on her toes at all times, more than Greninja does. Yeah. His disadvantage also isn't as uh, brutal. Yeah. Like when Greninja's in disadvantage against Sheik, it's like, alright, I have to get out of this situation and then have to then land I, and then have to take the stage but like Mario he has to do all that yeah but it's a lot easier for him to do that yeah definitely Air Dodge's gonna get a couple of the back air he can still recover from that yeah probably looking for a back air right now or just any way to actually just end the stock alright down throw Ooh. tries to go for the super jump punch just to maximize damage but uh, Protege jumped away oh my god they're going mad deep Ooh, jumped over Bouncing Fish. Ooh. He wants that up smash, yeah. That's so... Protege at this percent has to be careful wh about when he jumps for fairs and yeah. just for uh, mix-ups in general. Because... All he has to do is... Yahoo! Yeah, Invincible Head. Love it. Oh, he hey. was about to do that right there, but the needle saved it. That jab really, like, stopped him from jumping. So get back down. Back, that's it. From yeah. center stage now, at, at 120. Now, this is going to be scary right here. Watch for the down throw. All right. Just watch for the down throw. See where they at. Uh, and this, yeah, this is another scary part of the match because oh, Mario's gonna, go. Mario's gonna get his grab, and uh, I believe that was supposed to be an up air. Yeah, because he definitely could have got a lot off that grab. Don't. Oh. Why would you do that? I know you know that exists. I know you know that's a thing. I fall for it too sometimes, so I'm not gonna give him too much slack, but still. I am. I, I do the thing all the time. <gasps> Ooh. Uh, Forza? F tilt. Not gonna do it. No. Oh, oh wow. that, that's just unlucky. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Why were you there? That sucks. Wrong place at the wrong time. I don't think I've ever seen up air stage spike. I haven't seen that. So I, I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I mean, I wouldn't. It wouldn't surprise that me that it didn't like do that though. Like it would not surprise me if that would have happened though. Yeah, I just haven't seen it. Yeah. So I get to, I get to mark that off. <laughs> That's funny. What other stuff you have to mark off? All right. So that final ticket game. Yeah. Two one. Now protege has a Luigi. Yeah. And Luigi, for a very long time, was a character that handled Mario. Uh huh. But then the meta evolved, so obviously, you know, the characters, they, they changed, the matchups changed. And now that's looking more like of an even matchup. Mm -hmm. More than anything else. Koshay's going back at it. I, I don't blame him, actually. Because I feel like his mentality is like, okay, I had a really bad, like, stage spike. I probably could have done something better there. Yeah. I mean, Mario has a good, like, stage advantage there. So I feel like he's just going to stick to his guns, which you can't blame him. Honestly, he's confident in the pick. Yeah, you, you can't, you can't, you know, bite at confidence. Yeah. All right, so and plus he gets smashful, so it's, it's a better Sheik stage than his Luigi stage. So I yeah. can understand why he stayed. Uh oh, that's the grab. Now I like how he knew that she could land and shield there, so he tried to mix up what aerial, uh, not aerial, what tilt he did. Down tilt. Something, something faster to get Sheik lower to the ground. 
But at, at, at zero, Marsh should just be doing up throw on fast fallers, honestly. Like, like yeah, save I, the down throw for mid percents. I usually do uh, up throw down, uh, down air, usually. And then I try to, like, when they get hit out of it, I just try to do up airs. And that's a missing point. That's, that's quite unfortunate. Where did... I, I, when did he jump? I don't know, actually. I was just trying to think about that. I was hoping you would, like, see that. I didn't see any... Maybe he got hit. All I saw was the fireball and him just trying to come back up. I don't know. Maybe he, like, jumped as he was getting hit. But I don't, that was weird. He took the... Well, he effectively just shot himself in the foot. But, but you can still walk. When you have a bullet in your foot, so technically, yeah. So it's still there's still a chance you can't count him out. Yeah, yeah. Matt can still do this. Yeah, but this is looking very bleak for him right now. Very, very bleak. Less trap situation. Oh, nice job reading that roll. Nice. Put him back off stage on the ledge. Matt sneaks away back on. Okay, he read the roll back. Up smash definitely would hit on that top platform. There we go. Now he's got the up tilt plug. Can't really convert, but actually, he's trading. Still in disadvantage, but she lands. Alright, calls out the jump with back air. Tries to go for that up smash right there because he, he desperately wants to yeah. stop off. You're gonna have to do that, honestly, at this point in the matchup. Alright, oh my god. Picked him up with the down tilt. Come on, yeah. that was a grab. Now, now that's yeah. how you know he yeah. really, really just wanted to get that stock off because he like looked at the situation and I know he saw the shield was up. Yeah. He said, you know what? I'm going to charge up smash. Like, no, just grab just, him. Just grab him. Just grab him, throw him back. Grab him, him throw him back, yeah, and then get him wait stage. for him to, you know, 